Welcome to Lockdown News, Thursday, the 4th of June, 2020. All the news was somewhat correct at the time of recording. The Oxford English Dictionary is considering adding China as it has become the latest expression of frustration, as in China, I am not going to be re-elected. In political news, Donald Trump was seen smashing his computer with a baseball bat. Sources close to the White House have said that this was due to a response he received from a presidential tweet. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Kids Corner. Kids Corner is a new segment this week. We have two quizzes to keep your mind sharp whilst self-isolating. First, John and his brother Mike both have a ping pong ball. John drops his ball from 10 foot onto the floor. The ball repeatedly bounces, each bounce becoming lower than the last one. Mike drops his ball from 6 feet. If the height of the bounce is equal to six tenths the height of the previous bounce, how many bounces does John's ball make before it is less than the height of Mike's ball's first bounce? The first ten correct answers emailed to us will receive a genuine decoder ring. And kids, if you're having trouble with a question, be sure and ask mummy or daddy. They will know the answer. Here is a bit of an easier one that Mummy and Daddy will know if you have trouble with the problem. Here we go. A train leaves St Ives headed toward London at 65 miles per hour. Another train leaves London headed for Exeter at 72 miles per hour on the same track. What can be said about the train going towards Exeter? A the brakes have failed, B, the engineer has fallen asleep, or C, Dominic Cummings is seeing what all those buttons do before going all the way to St Ives. Until next time kids, stay alert and Billy, stop teasing your little sister. Yes, the lockdown eye sees all. And now it's time for what's going on outside right now. Over to Matthew, who is outside the lockdown studios. Janie, it's sunny and warm today. Perfect zombie weather. I was speaking to some folks who believe they saw a group of zombies on Wimbledon Common. Stay indoors. Self-isolate. Be alert. Back to you, Jane. Couple sets record for longest first date. Last March... Bill and Edna set out on their first date. They went to dinner and then the walk around Leicester Square. Edna was enjoying Bill's company and she invited him to come by her flat in Victoria for a nightcap. This was more convenient than going back to Bill's flat in Guildford. Little did they know the government had issued an order that day. Only essential travel is allowed. Unable to go home, Bill is still staying at Edna's flat. We reached out to them to ask if they are thinking of having a second date. Edna just rolled her eyes. Some businesses to open June the 15th. The government has announced that all non-essential retailers can open from June the 15th. We thought we would leave you with a bit of knowledge from the British Toilet Association. Public toilets are the shop window for any area or establishment where first and lasting impressions of levels of customer care are made. With that tidbit, that's all the news. Good night all and have a pleasant tomorrow. Lockdown News is written and edited by Matthew Upson, narrated by Jane Upson. Yes, we did it all.